All right, we're looking now at a 2024 Thor Motor Coach Riviera 34 SD floor plan. And look at this beautiful paint scheme here with blue, silver, and black here. And here's a quick look at the floor plan. And now let's look at the outside bays here. You see that one bay right here. And this has a straight rail chassis right here. But you see a nice bay right there. Here's your fresh water tank. And your chassis batteries. Here you have your solar controller and magnum inverter. And here we go. Here's your propane quick connect here. And your suburban tankless hot water system. And here's a view of the back cap right here. Now let's go inside, and on the way we'll pass by the exterior TV with Bluetooth soundbar. And this is built on the Atlas Foundation, always true, level, and straight. All right, so we're going to go inside here, and here's your little lights here for your steps. Let's see, I don't see any storage under the seats, uh, steps. Here we have your lighting controls, your main house battery shutoff disconnect, and your fire extinguisher. All right, and oh, it's Marie. It is, and I'm sitting in a very comfortable seat awaiting your arrival. So we found some interesting things here. We do have our digital display. We do have our leveling system over here. Interesting, that's a place for your phone, and then all the way down here, there's a little switch for your ear suspension. Okay, your ear. Airbags, uh -huh. Yeah, so it's kind of down there. It's, I'm not sure I like it there, and it feels almost a little flimsy, but it's all good. Well, okay, we do have our phone and uh, our navigational controls, and we do have our radio backup camera here, good size screen. And there below is the air conditioning, and I believe the radio controls, as well as the generator start and fans, etc. right here. There is a drawer that Ben just pulled out. And when we stand up, we can look at some of the cabinets up ahead. There's plenty of space up here. This is a cabinet there. there. Basically, there's just a little bit of electronic in this one, but they're basically pretty much empty, so you can put whatever you want in them. And they're about 18 inches deep. Yeah, they're pretty I good I can reach size. inside all the way here. Yeah. And then there's another cabinet there right above the door, dear. Yeah, a little bit of storage there. Yeah. And right behind you is the recliners. They are manual. Does have two cup holders. Has a nice little storage space here. Nice lights go. And then the cabinets are passed through. There is three of them. One big cabinet, three doors. One big cabinet for one big happy family. There you go. And then on the other side is your dinette booth. Now these you have to access below them by lifting up the seat and a piece of wood and you can get below them. The extra cushions actually to make this into a bed are below there. You do have two drink holders. You do have the wireless control for your phone, the charger. You have a sound bar and the TV, which of course is directly across from the recliners. Above there you have Three pass three doors, one cabinet. They all pass through, so plenty of space for a long object or a bunch of small ones. It does have a lip about have a lip I'd say about a three inch lip. Maybe two, two and a half, two to three. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a mirror here, no fireplace. Oh, one thing important note: this does have two child seat retaining mm -hmm. systems, and it does have a cup holder. And as we pointed out at first, I thought this was kind of awkward to have a cup holder here. You know. But then if someone's sitting here and you have an extra TV set, this drink holder, or you're talking to somebody this way, this drink holder might be more convenient. Right now the TV set's invisible. Right. But again, you could be talking to somebody in the recliners also. Okay. In the kitchen, you have this cabinet. It's kind of a open up. Um, so basically, you either have to put your dishes over here above the recliners or try to stuff them all in there, I guess. You do have your convection oven here. And there's a microwave, of course. There's some of the accessories that are in there. What do you think of this paneling? Uh, tile backsplash. That's very pretty. Yeah, it's an up and down, more of a horizontal 
uh, a wave with some slate gray going through it, kind of different. Now I want to point out why we're up here uh, before I get to the countertop. We do have day and night shades here. Day and night shades? Yes. I'm not, I assume they're on all the windows, but maybe not. Well, they were on the windows up front. I don't see any. Okay, well, maybe not on all the windows, folks. I guess that one just has the nice shade. Okay, we do have an induction stove top. The tower power. As well as a double sink. And uh, Ben wants me to roll this for a change. I'm not sure why. I guess he wants to just see if I can find a fun. Okay. Happy? Yes, well, you're supposed to do it just by touching it. It's like the domino effect. Well... I just roll I, it and just... I like to touch the texture. I'm a toucher. Ah, I see. Okay. Touchy, touchy feely kind of that. Yeah. Person. Yeah, I'll touch folks. Subscribe and I'll touch you. Okay. We do have a sponge drawer here. Sponge drawer, square pants. Okay. Down here, we have some slide outs for your trash and any other accessories and things that you want to put in there right now there is the thor manuals and just be note that it is new so it's all stiff you can always give a little extra lubrication and it works just fine and then over here we have three large drawers look at the size very of that drawer wide. yeah look very at that. wide that way not necessarily very deep now let's see the bottom one i believe is the same exact size that's actually a little button. shorter actually it looks like yeah, not, as, not as deep not as deep as the other very no. narrow so that one's definitely shorter and this is the same as the top, so. Okay, right next to that, we do have our residential refrigerator. It is a side-by-side -side on the top part, as you can see. And then on the bottom, you have two drawers with a slide-out tray. And there's the other part. Okay, directly behind us. Well, one more thing to make note, there I actually miss? is an... Uh, top fantastic fan for exhausting from the kitchen if you're touching. Okay, across the way is our bathroom. It is a whole bath. A whole bath? You mean there's a hole in it? Yeah, in your head. <laughs> Actually, maybe in the drain there's a hole. <laughs> okay, there is a big medicine cabinet. Yeah, if you try to open it, you'll need medicine. Now, actually, this one's not too stiff. It's about six inches deep. Some of the doors and all that, they're new. What can I say? You know, it takes a little while. Let's see if this one has a nightshade. And I guess the nightshades are just up front. So some shade, some windows up front had, did have the night and day shade. Okay, over here, we have the Suburban. Tankless hot water system control. Yes, and, and a power outlet. Right, the sink, and below here, I don't believe this opens. Oh, no. yes, it does. Oh, it does. There, uh -huh. there we go, we got a little small space there for toilet paper storage. A little cubby here and a toilet paper holder. Now, I should note that this toilet is on a platform. How does that feel, dear? This is perfect, my height. Yeah, sometimes toilets on a platform are uncomfortable. They're a little sometimes. tall, yeah, you know, something to eat for me. Now, we have a shower over here. Now, and I did not close those dirt prints floor, so when I step in here, I just want you to know they were there before I stepped in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it does have a seat and a couple little shelves, both in the back and the front. So it is fine enough for me. Check the seat out, make sure it's dry. Yeah, I think I can shave my legs in here. I mean, it would work. See, no footprints floor. Mm -hmm. Just making sure. Whoops. Well, let's have a there shower, we go. All gone. A water uh, shower miser system and an oxygen shower head. Now I'm going to try the shower uh, shower out. Let's see my rating today. Yeah, we've been pretty lucky with most of uh, poor motorized units as far as height. Well, this is nice and tall. Uh, the position of the shower head is fairly close to normal. And the official word is, folks. This shower is a 9 out of 10. And uh, folks, you know, tell me if you like my little shower singing reviews. Uh, one reason I give it a 9 out of 10 is that mainly the Diotine Bar ATA shower door track holder. But if you've seen my, our videos, quite often as I'm coming out of the shower, even if I'm careful, I still manage to want my head. So. Okay. There's also a couple of cow things that you like too on the door, so watch your head there. A couple of cow things on the door. Ooh. Yeah, cow towel. They sound almost alike, don't they? Yes. Okay. And once again, Marie doesn't like the idea of towel holders on a wooden door like this with a finish, which is over time that can actually erode the finish. 
Now, farther down, right next to the refrigerator on the other side, is your pantry, and it does have a couple of fixed. No, nope, these are adjustable shelves here and here. The middle one's fixed. Well, did you repair it? Why is it fixed? Just kidding. My father was very stiff. I try to come out with a comeback. I My can't father, come out with one. Someone said you fixed it. He said no. You put it. You fixed it in place, or you actually. You know, repaired it. You know, so yeah, I was trying to come up with a comeback, but I went blank. Guys, if you got a comeback for that, let us know so I have an answer next time. You know, Ben, he constantly jokes and keeps me on my toes, which is really hard to do. Okay. It's not really. I just step on him, and you had no put, no choice. Ouch. Okay, we have a wardrobe, and there's a bunk bed ladder, and there is some adjustable shelves here, so you can adjust it to your height. Right below there, there's two drawers. They're both the same size. And not to be confused with your underwear drawers. <laughs> okay, we have a washer and dryer. I bet you folks can't figure out which one of us is the serious person and which one is the jokester. But we do enjoy the walkthroughs and we want to make them fun for you. So we provide a little bit of humor during the way. Over here, we have our TV set. And again, Thor has the neat thing. Look at how easy this is. Oh my gosh, I just love this. But this isn't quite as deep as some of the others. It isn't as deep, but again, the access is so easy. I mean, you should probably I see, like it. You could probably uh, save a, a wine bottle back there or so. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Bottle of vodka, bottle of yeah. rum, yeah. With a proper lip, of course. Yeah. Okay, we have a nice little desk area here. And we have three drawers. I haven't had a chance to open these, so we'll see how big they are. I'll open all of them so we can see them. Not very long, Not but very they deep. are de deeper. Uh, so yeah, and it does require a final little... Oh, that one went in pretty good. Let's see. I almost thought it was soft no, close there for a minute. Soft close. Yeah, for a minute I thought it was. Okay, we do have a light switch here and an outlet. And here we have our back cabinet, which also stores some of the. Uh, back cabinet? Back closet. Closet, okay. Cabinet closet. Cabinet closet. Yes. <laughs> we keep the. Uh, these are the cushions for up in the dining room area if you want to make the dinette into a bed here. And you can see it's got a big shelf up here. And this literally is the length. You can see here. It is probably, well, six feet? Yeah. <laughs> oh, watch it. Ben almost tripped off Just the step there. Just watch out for that step, folks. It's a doozy. <laughs> yeah, that's why I hate those. Okay, now we're facing the bedside of the room. King size took the bed. We don't need any more comedy, uh, slapstick comedy in this walkthroughs, do we? No. no. As you can see, all the, all, there, it's an entirely pass through, four doors. and Four doors and seven years ago. I do that a lot. Okay, and where are the controls and the phone plugins on this one, Ben? Well, here's a little cubby on this side, and here we have one outlet and a little light down there. Yeah, this is when, when I get even. I make him crawl on the floor to find those things. And just so we walk right past the uh, Firefly touchscreen controls for your lights, slides, fans, etc. And once again, here's the thermistor for telling the system how warm or cold your coach actually is. So. That's it. That's our walkthrough of this coach. Uh, we thank you so much for watching. And drop us a like and a comment so that we can improve our channel and we can also get more subscribers like yourselves. Um, just remember to open the doors to adventure. And start all your journeys with the RVTs. Have a great day, folks.